Hi, welcome to episode 13 of the Happy Hippie Animal Farm. I'm Icon and well, maybe today's not the happiest day for the farm. We have lost a lot of lives in the last episode and hello cat. And we did not only lose Dudinka, we also lost a second dinosaur. We are still mourning for that loss basically, but well, we gained a lot of steel out of that and components which are rotting in the dirt and therefore we shouldn't be that sad about that well all right we, we should be sad about that dude lost his wife so possibly it is in order to be a little bit sad for a while but we will recover that's the most important thing we have a foreigner named rosario which helped us to take that to eliminate the psychic dropship the mechanoids also left here it was it was quite a uh, quite a cursed run overall this this farm seems to me quite cursed i don't know why but for some reason there's a lot of bad stuff happening all the time but at the end of the story this is also making things fun and exciting so here we go the ibexes we will now put them into the animal no freezer area because I got a lot of animals that actually don't need to eat out of my freezer. I only let them because I had no food issues back in the day and I felt like it was okay. But by this point, I'd rather let them eat outside. Okay. So what about working now? So Snyder is the person who which I would want to see on the construction bench, but it's all not that easy. I mean, we hadn't had enough workers before Dudinka died. Losing her didn't really make anything easier at this point. So I'm just happy that we had the luck to meet Rosario at that point and a transport pod crash. Burn from the Exodus Dominion. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to to rescue that person. We have no beds. Oh, that's why. Yo, dude. Yo, Burn. Where are you now? I thought he was sitting somewhere here. Oh no, over there. Okay, dude, so first off, we're going to stabilize him here. And then we're going to rescue Burn. Because he's already a member of a faction, I don't really want to recruit him. That's not how we roll here. So the storyteller tried to give me yet another opportunity, but I didn't appreciate that opportunity too much. A raccoon! Isn't that nice? Okay. So, well, dude is slowly learning the animal way now and all by himself. Let's see. What's up with Rosario? Well. Still recovering from the grim onslaught there. Well, overall, it seems to me that Snyder is just too busy cooking at that point. So we're going to make kibble until we have a reserve of 100 for now. Because I'll amp that up later. But for now, I don't want my people in a endless cycle of overproduction like here. He's now starting to make kibble again. that's okay. He is, after all, a pretty lousy constructor and I don't see myself being able to change anything about that in the next time. Oh my god, I have no firefighting. <laughs> that's going to be not good. I, I kind of like didn't realize it in the last episode, but now I do, and oh my god, this is not good. <laughs> I 
I never had that. I never had that. I didn't have any people that are that that I had only people which are incapable of firefighting. Well, luckily none of them is a pyro, so I mean, I guess it could be worse. But not much, not much. <laughs> Seriously, not much more. Arf. Major break risk, Snyder. My friend Dudinka died. Yeah, I'm sad about that too, man. So I'm more and more considering imprison uh, imprisoning somebody and and converting them to our faction. That's quite an odd run for sure. Not gonna lie. So, what I want to do next is I want to set up a new, a new house. We still have lots of marble blocks here, so let's put up that house over here. Just a good old plain house where somebody can live. Or where we can keep a prison up and running. I don't I haven't fully decided on that yet. And Snyder is going on a food binge. I can't even blame him for that, you know? I can't even blame him for that. So, I'm gonna do something today. I'm gonna send a caravan. It's only a very short way, and we're going to pick up all the animals that I want to sell. Wait a sec, travel supplies off for a sec. I'm going to ride that here. I'm going to leave the Brachiosaurus in the base as a defense. The Ibexes, I'm going to leave them as well. I'm not sure if I am a I will be able to sell a raccoon, but I'm going to try. The Brachiosaurus would give a lot of money though. Ah, uh, well, let's try if we can sell the Ibexes too. I really want to check if there's not a chance to get myself some new colonists from a neighboring town. Because honestly, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite desperate at that point here. So off you go, my dude. I mean, giving him the animals here with him will be a good thing. Let's just hope he won't get ambushed. But if so, we're going to, we're going to see what we can do then. I mean, like I said, it's a very short trip. So, here we go. Mirandil. What's your story, man? Incapable of cooking and cleaning, but he can't quench fires. He's kind. Wonderful. He's a constructor. You're hired. Do you have any real big issues? No, so... I guess I'll keep one donkey for Miranda. Yeah, just like I thought, we will have enough money for for that. Good thing that I uh, that I did that. So wait a sec, I won't sell the clothing because Miranda is naked. So I figure that we might need that. The shield belts. Oh man, I wish I had enough money for shield belts. That's one thing that I really, really want to have next, so... No, these guys are not buying the Ibexes, so... That's okay. Awesome. So, well, maybe not the way I would wa I wanted it to go, but... Well, still better than, than before. Especially since I now have a constructor. Because, no offense, Snyder, you're not really good at constructing things. 
Now I, I'll just tune him off from that job altogether. I want him on the cooking and on the plants. It's going to be more than enough. So. Welcome home, Mirandal. So, let's do this like that. Construction tier one. Hauling tier one, maybe two. Beyond that. Let's give him a low priority on handling. Powell and the heat wave. So, we can't really see anything about him. We only know that there will be a heat wave for a couple of days if we accept him. So, well, come on over, man. Party! Hi, Powell. Incapable of so social but chemical interest. A very good cook, good at plants, good at animals, wonderful. Sitsuku Powell. That's a pretty good fit for the colony. So dude doesn't need to be on the top notch priority for handling anymore. Snyder and Miranda had a social fight there. That oh, was quite brutal here. Snyder compared Miranda to a sparrow. Okay. Don't know what's so uh, horrible about that, but... Okay. So, let's just make two new suites of clothing. We have people heat stroking, so... How much wood do we have? Okay. So, refuel that. And also, Miranda, why are we not getting any clothes for you? Okay. Let's build another one of those. And... Yo, where's the clothing, man? And why aren't you wearing any? I mean, I actually didn't sell it to have something for you to put on, Miranda. But I only see that here. Well, whatever. We're going to do this here. And I hope that people will be able to withstand that. So let's see, 36, 27 on Snyder. Well, we will be able to just enter the fridge if necessary. Speaking about which. You're constructing that, my dear. Yeah, Powell just went sleeping in there. Is that burn person? Well, yeah, okay. So, dude is malnutritioned at that point, okay. Maybe I overdid his uh, work plan a little bit. So why is Mirandal still not wearing anything? Somebody care to explain? Are you a nudist? No. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Okay, Mirandal, here. Wear bad. I think he also took a shirt now, okay. Ah, uh, the 
the other people grabbed these uh, items before he was able to. Okay, we have break risks on the beat people here. Somewhat understandable, but okay. Snyder is smoke leaf binging, just when I wanted to, to assign him to some fun, but that's okay. So everybody is more or less heat stroking, but that's okay. I mean, we have 47 degree outside temperature. How we are surviving that, I have no clue. Hey, Lexi, the baby poodles. We got two baby poodles, actually. Nice. So there we go. Oh, I'm so relieved. We now have five con five permanent uh, people in the colony. That means we're going to be fine for quite a couple of time longer. Because there's not going to be any shortage in the way we experienced before from here on. So let's see. What didn't flee yet from the uh, from from this uh, map here? So we're going to tame away on that donkey one more time. I'm quite tempted to go for the mega sloth soon too, but I actually don't dare to right now. Food's running a little bit low again, but we're gonna be fine. There are several options for us. Among those is just for, uh, going for forage. And I want to do that actually, foraging, I mean. Ooh, I'm low on medicine too. Probably should plant me some heal root myself. I know where I'll do that. There was this patch of fertile soil. This is fertile soil, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. So we're going to do this here. Expand zone is you. I love shortcuts, you know. Okay, this is going to be my heal root field. Probably going to change up this place here in the in the future. Or well, we have a lot of fertile soil there too. That's good. So, we only have one more day worth of food, so Time for the harvest again. Select similar in the map. I love the uh, allow tool mod for that. You can do such wonderful things with this mod. And here we go. Yeah, let's hunt some tortoise too. Why not? Good food as well. And bare berry bushes. Let's go for a gray uh, for a great attack on on all these. Oh, of course, we're sowing heal root first. So, no, my dude, you're going to harvest first. There's uh, food is more important for the moment, my man. Starving is not good for us. There we go. Dude is basically like a harvesting roboter. Roboter, yeah. That's a that's a German word. Robot, I wanted to say. You know, in the last time I had more and more issues and in, with intermingling languages. Sometimes I even forget German words when I'm trying to talk German. It's not fun, I tells you. <laughs> so Rosario is leaving now. See you soon, buddy. What a relief. There was a refugee coming to our place and he didn't betray us. He didn't try to kill us. He just did his thing for a couple of days. We gave him shelter for that. Everybody was happy. The end. I wish these stories would come together like that more often. Well. Let's 
do some dusters. Quest completed. Yeah. You know, at the hippie farm, you can make friends. Ooh, a Rayhound. How dangerous is that to tame? Almost none. Okay, I want that. These look like fun. These look like fun. Okay. So there's a lot of field work to be done again, but look at that. We actually have two people able to harvest and no to sow out heal root. Harvesting is uh, possible for everybody. But uh oh no. That's not what I wanted to say. I forgot to <laughs> So my plants skills in this colony are quite good. That's what I wanted to say. Powell is going to get there too. Ah that's the donkey who was carrying all the clothing. That's why Mirandel was naked that long. Now everything comes together. So the donkey here shall learn haul hauling, of course, too. I want to have as many hauling animals as possible, always. But, well, man. How many handlers do I have? Only one. It's not enough. I need dude on that job too. I can't change it. So this is really challenging to play only with Beastmasters exclusively. Because I'm not really fond of my abilities to fight off the next attack with what I have here. My animal army is really lackluster, but... Mm. Wolf, 10% risk of getting aggroed while taming. Mm. Well, my extremely high animal skill died the a few episode the uh, other episode ago, so I'm not going to go for that risk. Meanwhile, Miranda is already quite busy at building that wall. Awesome. Really happy to see that happening. I mean, at least we made quite some progress with these things. And Snyder. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Snyder can't craft, obviously. There's so much field work to be done. Fair enough. All right, we got that heat wife past us. That's really good. I really like passive coolers for that. They are like a very cheap yet effective way of fighting back heat waves. As a matter of fact, if you have enough wood on your map, you could actually postpone coolers forever on your apartments because you just don't need to need them just a thought all right so we're going to need more power here oh we're going to use the underwaters waterproof conduit oh there's deep water there i see Okay, just want to have some power over at this place. And also, I want to have some plant pots there. Deceit. Soviet. Well. Do I have a job to cremate animals? Yes, I do. Okay. Just wanted to check since these... Uh, Jobs are not getting done that quickly here. So deceit, we're going to take that stuff. Or no, Soviet. Black hive attack. Oh my gosh. 
but it's a rather small one. Okay, God bless. So, well, since the Black Hive monsters are not that smart after all, oh yeah, Snyder is uh, smoke leaf binging there. So we will draft everybody who's worth and capable. Okay. There we go. That's why I hide all these traps outside there, you know. Alright, let's release the animals before they start attacking the babies again. Okay, turns out that this fight is going quite well. Now we have to check out the mammoth worm, but yeah, well. That went really good. Okay. We got one big. Oh, okay. The the that that poor poodle. Let's just summarize that as poor poodle, okay? Yo, dude, Randall is doing that. Randall is a decent doctor. Yeah, okay. So well. Who did lose those legs? Ah, no, it wasn't the poodle, it was the uh, Animus Vox. Oh dear Maria, losing a leg and uh, the tail like that. Poor thing. Okay, but black hive attacks always come with black insect hive jelly. Yummy jellos. There we go. These hives now will produce some of that before I, until they die. So let's take down a couple of those. Oh, there's a donkey. Too bad. Don't want the Thunder Beast. They can be quite detrimental for you. Hedgehog. Hey, we did we did tame the the Rayhound. Awesome. So I want the hay, uh, hay hound, yeah. <laughs> the ray hound as a hunting animal for me too. There we go. So what's Snyder up to? And what's Powell up to? He's training animals, yeah. Well, after all, we could still use more more people here in the colony for the sake of training and taming more animals. Gazelles. We can actually train gazelles to make them to turn them into combat animals. But before I do, I want to make sure that all the animals that are supposed to be um, supposed to be combat animals have the necessary training because it would be rather stupid to fo force here too much while I'm not even able to to work with the animals I got, you know. Yo, Miranda. Can you please get rid of the corpses here? Thanks, buddy. Groovy. Okay. Oh, I ordered Mirandil to cremate and he's taking the job really serious. I like that. Well, let's put him away from that. 
This is making them rather insane. Okay, so we don't have that much food available right now. We don't have anybody except for Snyder on the crafting duty. Let's let's try it like that. Let's try to put Powell onto the jobs like that. Let's see how this works out. Because I really want them crafting jobs to be done. Because, you know, it is actually quite important that we get our materials tinkered away. I mean, there's so much tobacco racking up there. And without that tobacco, um, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be where I am right now. So smoking might be bad for your health, but it's uh, quite useful to to get new colonists into <laughs> It's not really anything. About smoking, there's not much good to say, you know, just like in real life. Mm, more food, ski food skis. Okay. All right, Snyder is now on the duty here. So that Ripper Hound took down Maria. I won't. I won't forget that. We will revenge you, and we will avenge you. God, talking ain't working that good for me today. So we're going to cut this episode here. <laughs> Thanks for watching so much. I mean, I feel like I'm way better off than before. We are now at least at four people. And as soon as I have trained those animals completely, we'll be there, we'll be there soon. It's only the Ibex needing the basic training and Raccoon and the Round. After that, I want to expand my animal army even further because, you know, it's just that useful after all and let's see what will happen after that so feel free to drop your comments down below i'd be more than happy to hear from you and as usual leave a thumbs up on that series if you like what you saw because this makes me win that algorithm game beyond that if you like my content feel free to check out my channel i do daily videos so just subscribe turn on those notifications and you won't miss any episodes in the future beyond that down there in the description section below you'll also find a link to my twitch where i do daily streams so if you might want to come there i'd be happy about that too and last but not least, there's also ways and means to support me with tips, coffee, and whatever you might find cool down in the description section there below. So enough of the advertisement. Let me thank you one more time for watching this video. It really means a ton to me. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.